Welcome back to State of Decay 2 and the Heart Attack update in the Lethal Zone. I have not figured out what the intro line for this series is. I think it's different every episode. Uh, but Tiffany here uh, has got a problem. Her community is almost completely out of fuel. Uh, in fact, I can only make one more gas can if I desperately need to. I'm also getting a little bit low on meds and ammo. I can't do as much with them as I'd like to, but fuel is the emergency. Luckily, we actually just spawned a wandering trader out here that's offering fuel. So I think the first thing I want to do is go out with a bunch of my garbage, sell it to this person, and get as much fuel from them as I possibly can. Uh, and then once I've done that, uh, I've also left some uh, plague hearts uh, unscavenged, and I think that some of them might have valuable things for me too, since I'm getting low on a bunch of stuff. So let's actually have a look. I don't know how much garbage I've got. But let's have a look and see if there's a bunch of stuff that I don't want or need. So ammo presses I usually like, filling machines... Yeah, anything that increases my food, I like. The CNC mill. That, what does that do? Oh, it converts things into parts. It converts building materials into parts. That's pretty valuable, too. Honestly, actually, okay, you know what? I think it might be cases of chemicals. That might be the thing that uh, that I've got the most of that I could probably spare. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to bring all of it. Because you can use this stuff to make some very fancy explosives. But it's something you can carry a ton of. Okay, let's just leave 120 behind. And, yeah, I should start processing those piles of weapon remains. Is there anything else here that I just plain don't need? What? Who wants the scorpion? Whatever, I'm not going to worry about that. Weapons I usually like just processing into... Uh, into parts if I don't need them rather than selling them. So maybe, hmm, maybe the, what I've got is enough. Because I'm not just, I'm not drowning in guns with this community the way I am with some others. So I might just try to hold on to these. Similarly, I, I think, you know, these, oh, actually, you know what? People have often uh, told me that the best use of these weapons, if I don't want them, of these close combat weapons, if I don't want them, is to sell them. Now, the, uh, but these are special ones, though. Nah, I don't want to sell the special ones. It looks like I've kind of blasted through a lot of the stuff that would be worth selling anyway with this community. So I, I think I might not have a lot to sell. I mean, I guess maybe I don't need two gardening textbooks. I can take one of those. That's kind of it. Okay, so, yeah, let's... You know what? I've already got a bunch of influence already so it's not like I need to sell things in order to buy a bunch of fuel so let's get to the car and get on the road okay so yeah I'm headed up here so it should and I'm not because we don't have any like like contour lines on the map it's actually really hard to tell what's going to be easy to get to and what's going to be hard. Eternal, okay. I hope that those screamers don't start screaming because then I'm going to suddenly have bloaters to deal with. Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, I don't know if they're going to keep coming after me. At least one zombie is. Okay. <laughs> This person is doing a pretty effective job of hiding out. I'm just looking around to make sure nothing's about to attack me. Hey there, Clifford. Oh, I can't sell all of this. He just doesn't have enough. But I can sell it soon. So... Okay. So I'm going to sell him all those chemicals and then I'm going to buy as many fuel rucksacks as I can manage. Oh, and I was going to sell him that book too. Let's see if he's got the influence. Looks like he's kind of hiding underneath the, uh, sure. <laughs> the thing. All right. So we get that. Drop this off. 
Ah. Loading up a van in multiple trips, just like real life. This simulation is so accurate. Uh, so, Coalition was suggesting that this guy might have some other stuff that I want. Looks like he's got the mini bar. That's kind of fun. Uh, but I don't think that's an urgent need of mine. I could, you know what, I could actually buy some additional gas cans. Just because that's what I want the fuel for, is to manufacture those. Yeah, MacMert was suggesting the same thing. Okay, so Coalition said that he got the because he got the mini bar. That means he did not get the other mod that uh, Coalition uh, before the the episode started was trying to persuade me to get a facility mod that would magnify the amount of salvage that I got from um, uh, from salvaging weapons and things like that. But it looks like that's not an option for me. So. I guess, is it worth it to me to spend a bunch of influence to get Molotovs, Thermite Grenades? I mean, I think it might be just because, again, I'm so short on fuel. This is one of the things you would spend fuel on. And since what I've got, I've got a lot of uh, influence and I don't have a lot of fuel. Spending some influence on these guys might actually be worthwhile. I'm not going to spend as much as the Napalm Grenades cost, but I will grab the other ones. All right. So we've got what we came here for. Now the question is, can we also get what we want from these plague hearts? So let's loop around. <laughs> let's just stay out of this plague heart zone altogether. Let's loop around and go pick up whatever is in those old plague hearts that I defeated last episode. God, I am so sick of plague zombies. Okay, it, wait, it looks like we there might be a plague heart here that I wasn't aware of. Oh, no, I'm just heading straight into the thing I said I would not go into. Cool. Well, let's not hit any zombies, because we kill zombies in here. That's what's going to wake up this plague heart. And that's what happened to me last time. I ended up waking up more plague hearts than I intended to. And it went from what was supposed to be kind of a chill resource gathering episode into a desperate struggle for life. So we're not going to do that this time. We're going to play it safe. Um, I'm not sure if Le Coalition is thinking of running a bet, uh, but I think that if he ran a bet uh, about my survival, chances are, I mean, I don't know. I'm really going to be trying to avoid trouble. Now, you never know if I'm going to be suddenly attacked by a feral or something, and I definitely could die at any time if that happens. But my goal right now is not to do something crazy like go after a plague guard. I'm just... I'm tired today. I don't think my reflexes or anything are up to, you know, their usual mediocre standards. So I'm going to be doing my best to avoid getting into any trouble whatsoever. Okay, I'm hearing zombies. It's okay, I hope I didn't make too much noise there. Got a bunch of plague samples in here. Oh, good. We've got a rucksack. Okay. Oh, ow! Hey, that guy hit me real fast. Whew. All right. Hopefully it was just that handful. I, it sounded like an entire horde was coming after me while I was in there. I don't know if how if the sound is tuned in such a way that you could hear that, but I was getting really nervous. It is crazy to me how much room is in this trunk now. So I'm going to drop off all this stuff. Ooh, hey. Uh, yeah, that is a bigger backpack, but whatever. Um, I've got a fancy-looking backpack, and that's what matters. Okay, let's get a little bit more out of here and oh, I guess I should turn my flashlight on so you can see what I'm doing should I fast search nah we're playing it safe today ah six pack of light beer excellent now it looks like there's three more containers to search in here might as well get that done since I'm in the neighborhood not sure what else I'm likely to find 
<laughs> Quintaria says, always fast search. Yeah, so I think in the lethal zone, I'll make an exception. Every other zone, I absolutely fast search every time. Uh, because I just don't, I don't have that kind of time in my life. But in the lethal zone, it is worth it to go a little... Oh, wait. Oh, there's... Okay. Somebody is beating on the door. Okay. Okay, now I'm fast searching to get out of here before this zombie gets to me. Ah! It's just one zombie? Oh, no, it's... Looks like it's three zombies, but, uh... Yeah, in the lethal zone, any zombies are a problem. So, let's get out of here. Hey, whoa, whoa. That was a, what? Where? Pfft. I don't even know where that came from. All right, well, let's keep our eye out for bloaters, I guess. Whenever you hear a blood plague screamer, I'll always be on the lookout immediately for bloaters. Oh, wait, I, no, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Sorry. Again, I'm just, I was going to check my inventory for something, but uh, the Y button is inventory in Valheim. And apparently Valheim is the only game I remember how to play. So, yeah, let's, here, I'm going to grab these because they're stackable and put the non-stackable things in the car. Okay, we go. Whoa, what the heck? So I hit him with that A button attack first because it's a little faster than swinging the, uh, like doing a proper swing. Oh, it looks like we got some dropped ammo here. This must have been at some point, I guess, was it an infestation and I killed a freak there? I'm not sure. So, oh yeah, Dr. Lockenstein, I did see your tweet and I was thinking of uh, trying to answer that as sort of a separate segment at the end of the episode. Oh, hi. What? Okay, I tried to hit the Y button to take that guy out. No! Ah, oh, get off me, you big jerk. I thought I hit you first. Oh, I did. Okay. For a second, I thought a zombie was coming in through the window, but no, I just hit a zombie. Sorry, I just hit the window with my axe. Okay, okay. Is that it? Is that it? Okay, looks like I'm hitting my limit as far as what I can carry. I actually, wow, I suspected that because I have the newly expanded cargo van that I would be able to carry more, but no, it's like, there's, ser there's seriously, there's, this is one reason why we kind of resisted increasing the capacity of cars for, for a while, because no matter what we do, it always feels like there's not enough storage space. Like there isn't a, there isn't an amount of storage space that feels like enough ever, just never. So, okay, so let's, let's head back home and let's, is there a, I don't have an outpost nearby, do I? No, okay. All my outposts are clustered in Marshall. So yeah, so let's, Head back home, drop this stuff off, then we'll take another trip. Oh, gosh. Okay, keep an eye out for bloaters. Oh, my gosh, there's a horde. Ah! Ah! Oh, what? Really? Ugh. Which one was it? Oh, oh, crap! Okay, so apparently there must be a plague heart nearby that I didn't know was there. And so I'm, yeah, so I was in range of a plague heart. We woke that plague heart. Cause, cause I don't think, yeah, I don't see a plague heart that's awake. So there must be an invisible plague heart like down here or something that we just woke. So I don't know if I'm in a state right now where I can deal with a plague heart. We should at least find out which one it is, though. So we should do. Let's drop this stuff off at home. Let's do some investigating and figure out what kind of emergency we've created for ourselves. All right. So we'll drop off all this crap. 
Wow, so much of it. Okay. Oh, I could have loaded this into the gun. Haha. <laughs> okay. So that's everything put away. Now, uh, I'm thinking. If I do need to take out a play cart. What do I want to do it with? I've already got... I've already got a heavy weapon, which is the best thing in the lethal zone. I could drop a whistling box mine on it. It wouldn't be bad to have access to a smoke grenade. And fire can be fairly effective too, doing damage over time. And also it like, getting rid of ads that come after me. Now, how much... I've only got a little bit of 762. So we're up to 13 fuel now. That's nice. Uh, so I don't happen. know if I can handle a play cart right now. Got the King Vulture... Uh, this is pretty, pretty sketchy. Okay, so <laughs> there is, uh, I think, a bet going. Will I get fully infected or die today? <laughs> okay, we'll certainly find out. Yeah, so my plan is to just do one session today. And originally I was saying I'm not going after Plague Heart, but now that one's been awakened, I feel obligated to at least try. Actually, you know, one thing I should do, I should take off this suppressor and I should grab a break instead. So if I do need to use this gun against the Plague Heart, I can do the best possible job of it. So yeah, chances are I can't handle a Plague Heart and I'm going to have to run. Oh, oh, last thing, last thing. Do I have any cure? I think I don't. So I'll have to make some. I don't have a lot of meds, but I did just get a little bit of meds back. Where's the infirmary? There it is. Um, so, yeah, let's make a cure. And where does it go? Am I? Oh, there it is. It was just at the top, and I wasn't at the top. Okay, so I've got a cure. Okay. Coalition was reminding me that I, if I get up on top of a bed, apparently that's a good cheesing tactic. Uh, I might get desperate enough to try that, though. I don't know. I'm not confident in my ability to get up on a bed, and trying to get up on a bed might actually get me killed, like putting the effort into that. So my, my guess is that maybe there's a play cart down here, and that's what we woke up. So I'm going to give that a try. Uh, Cogs, yes, I did empty the van. Oh, good, a juggernaut. Well, I'm just going to pull the juggernaut over here. Hopefully he'll chase me up the road and he won't keep hanging around my... my base. Ah. Okay. Okay, so here's this horde. And then there was a screamer choir around here someplace, wasn't there? So many hordes. Holy cow. Holy crap. Okay, I'm just not even going towards my destination because there's just so many... Okay, here's those screamers. Okay. Rid of them. Okay, this looks like a bad place to... Go. Oh, wait, no. I can just barely make it down here. Just barely. Just barely. I still have nothing new on this project, Osiris. But Red Talon is investigating. It could just be a citizen radio broadcast. But I don't think so. If there's anything to it, we will let you know. Okay, so this place is definitely near a plague heart. 
but it is not a plague heart. Okay. Then where is it likely to be? There's too many zombies around for me to, like, really check the map and investigate. Where else could a plague heart be so that his influence would cover those locations? Let's try to find a nice spot to relax. It's not the fruit stand. Okay, so there's something is covering these two. Ooh, it could be this one. That, oh, that's going to be a chain reaction if I take that one out. Oh, is it worth it? I'll just wake another one. Let's at least head over and check it out. Ugh. Oh, another... Really? I don't even know which plague heart they would have awakened. Yep, it's here. So this one's awake. But it just said that they awoke a, a different one. Or was this the one that was already awake? Or is this the one that just got woken up? Who knows? So there could be more in, in East Marshall. Okay. I'm doing recon. Because, yeah, this... I could have just started a chain reaction that's real bad. Because if there's a bunch of them in East Marshall, and I'm going to keep waking those up... Okay, well, let's, let's go into East Marshall and try to find out. Let's see what's over here. Okay, a whole horde is over here, first off. Ah, there's a plague heart right here, but it's still asleep. Okay, this one's still asleep. But maybe not for long. Yeah, so, so I've gotten... This, this session, I got two notifications for waking plague hearts. But I only see one... I only actually see one that's awake. I mean, oh, maybe, maybe there's one here. Let's try to avoid... Oh, crap. Well, let's try to avoid killing guys. Looks like that didn't go too well. There could be a plague heart here, and this could be the second one that's awake. Nope. Nope. That one's just... It's just under the influence of a plague heart. Is it possible to get two notifications for one plague heart? That doesn't seem likely, right? Oh, crap. Oh, dang it. Oh, get... What the heck? I thought I had knocked him off. So, again, my massive frustration at the fact that it's so difficult to get zombies off your dang car. Okay, like, I seriously do not want to be in this situation at all. Um... What? What? Okay, well, at least the feral's dead. Holy cow! And now they're screaming at me? Ah. Uh. Okay, okay, let me just try to break sight lines or something. Getting out here. I just do not want any of this. <laughs> okay, this one guy was real close to me. Hopefully, he's the only one who made it all the way up here. Yeah? Maybe? Okay. Okay. Oh, there's guys over there, but they don't see me. Okay, so maybe, yeah, maybe I just, maybe I didn't actually awaken a plague heart. Maybe I just went through an earlier stage of alerting a plague heart, but I didn't understand the message. And so I actually could have left it alone and it would have been fine. I've made my own, made my own bed here. That's entirely possible. Okay, so do I have a radio command that will let me deliver a vehicle? Yes, and they're very expensive. Um, well, these 500s aren't as bad. 
Let's go with an SUV. Get on it. We'll get right on that. Where did that... It landed across the river? Can I cross this river and get up on the land? I don't think I... Well, maybe. Maybe, but I gotta deal with a bunch of zombies. Come on. Die, you jerks. Okay. Okay. If I can get across this river, get to that car, then at least I'll have an escape hatch. Dang. Okay, there's more here than I thought. Ah, oh gosh, okay, okay. Yep, maybe we just run for the car. Maybe just run for the car. <laughs> yep. Okay, hopefully, oh, um, is the same thing gonna happen to this car? Okay, it's damaged. But not to, oh another really okay, no do not get on my car oh and you're by plague heart and now I've awakened it another plague heart because of stupid zombies got on my car oh my gosh what what was that okay um, that was a little much. Okay, okay, we're, go we're going back home to fix this car. <laughs> Things are just getting worse and worse and worse. I can't, like, I keep trying to make clever decisions, and I just keep doing the wrong thing. Again and again and again. Okay, okay. Okay, we're gonna get home. We're gonna burn some weapons. We're gonna... I'm gonna try to avoid that juggernaut. Oh, we have not avoided the juggernaut. Okay, whatever. I'm parking here. I'm gonna go in here. We're gonna mulch some weapons. I'm gonna. Oh, actually, oh, I, one thing I never did do was get some parts this way. So I'm gonna get some parts that way. And how many parts do I have? I have 57, so I can just probably mulch one thing. Cool. And, wait, what was I gonna do? Um, I was gonna make a toolkit, that's right. Toolkit, toolkit, toolkit. And take it out of the supply locker is an important step. But, what is this guy? Oh, he's right here. Dang it. Okay. Hey, everybody. Everybody, we've got a juggernaut at the door. Though I guess if I just, if I get out of here real fast and drive away, folks will be relatively safe, right? Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. oh, no! <laughs> I thought he, I thought I had time for that. Okay, I... Pff. Oh, he's coming in, guys. He's coming in. He's trying to come in. I don't think he knows how to get in. I guess I don't need to use that exact car. I could use this one. Nope, doesn't have any gas. I think he's lost sight of me, though. Oh, there he, oh, he's in now, he's in. Okay, everybody, yes, nail him. Everybody get all your guns out. Dogpile that juggernaut. 
Oh, yes. Get him. Yes. Juggernaut dogpiled. Okay. Anyway, let's drop that off. Everything else I think I need. Oh, yeah. So, uh, while I'm home, Coalition is reminding me that I should uh, cure my own plague at the, um, at the infirmary. Thank you. That's a really good suggestion. So, let's go to the infirmary and there we go. My plague is cured. Let's also Actually, I'm trying to remember. Can I also do that with my injuries? Yeah, that's a little costlier, but we're good. Okay, okay. So yeah, oh, now we've got an infestation. Now we've got a siege infestation. I assume that comes from this one. So I think... I think that has to be my target. Let me quickly check my phone. Oh, okay. Yeah, not an emergency. Okay, so <laughs> this episode is going a little longer than I'd planned, but we'll, we'll see what we can do here. <laughs> Let's see if I can get down here and thing is, so sick of there could easily be another plague heart that I haven't discovered yet that's very close to that one that would also chain but at least if I kill this one if I'm right that this is the one that triggered the siege infestation and I could be wrong about that it could have come from a different plague heart because there's two that are definitely awake but if it came from this one then hopefully I can stave off a siege by stopping this one Okay, let's. Okay, so. I can't even see! So I can't see. Oh, there we go. There we go. Let me get out of. Get, let me get away from it. No, it's biting me. Oh, dang it. Okay. Okay. I got it. Nope. Ah! Oh! Oh gosh! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There's way too many zombies in here, and I'm infected. Not infected anymore, right? No, not. And I'm healed, but holy crap. Okay, okay. I think there must have been a bloater in there that I didn't catch or something, because it got real bad for me in there. <laughs> real fast. Okay. Oh, of course my of course my character hits fatigue right before we do this, right? Okay, so I'm betting that this is just doomed. I'll put another Molotov on. The, I see I can't even see in here. All right. I can't see. I'm tired. I've done some damage, but I think I need to get out of here. Okay. Okay. That wasn't great. <laughs> Whoa. What? What in the... What? What the 
heck was what? No, no. No, what? How did it get on there? How? What? How did it? No, stop it. Oh, it's just. Okay, okay. What in the absolute crap was that? <laughs> he was just popping around like whatever door I was at, he just jumped on. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, so I did get fully infected, which meant that anybody who was betting against that outcome, uh, they they made some channel points. Congratulations. I didn't die, but man, did I try. <laughs> I really tried. So this is basically... Oh, no, stop it. No! Oh, gosh, come on! Okay, come on, I just want to get home. I just want to get home. So this has been a Murph Murphy's Law episode where just everything went wrong. And I think I've just... I've done damage to that plague heart. That's a good thing. I think that's about all I can ask of myself today. I am... The fact that I survived is a freaking miracle, and we should all feel good about that. This vehicle is just toast for now. I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I'm going home, and we're calling it. Take a break I fall over. So, next episode... I'm going to need to go after this Plague Guard and win this time. And I think I can. I think I did a fair amount of damage to it. I at least knocked it down one level. Oh, they're trying to bolster. See, they're already trying to bolster this infest infestation. I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna need to get out of here real fast <laughs> because I'm gonna want. I'm gonna want time. So next episode, my target is still that plague heart. I think if I take that plague heart down, it'll wither the infestation, the siege infestation that's coming after me, and cut the siege off at the knees. And I think because I've already taken it down by like half its health. We should be in pretty good shape to get it done. But I don't know. But I'm just like, I just don't think I've got the energy <laughs> to actually jump out there and do it again today. <sighs> okay, let's see here. La Coalition says, allow me to gear you up once for one heart attack. Gear me up, you mean like you come into my game and give me a bunch of stuff? No, 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 no. I have to earn this stuff myself. The fact that I have so little access to stuff is part of the fun of this. So... So no, I got to use my own equipment. I got to try to figure it out. But anyway, let me um, let me catch up with. There's a bunch of chat that I missed. So yeah, so the people who won the bet uh, by betting that I would actually get fully infected were uh, Dennis Akiba, Space Case, Mofo, uh, Ordhouse, uh, Cleave Town, and Burns to Twenty Seven. So congratulations to you folks. So yeah, Ren of course says, I had some pretty good moves there though, like deliberately, and I did do this because I think one of you gave me this advice earlier on. I deliberately got into that car on a different door than the driver's side door so that the ferals would attach to a different door, but it wasn't enough. That one feral jumped off the back side, the back door and immediately jumped on, like teleported practically to the driver's side door. But we were able to survive, I think partly because that's what I was at least trying to do. And it did, it did buy me some time. Oh, so Coalition is saying, no, he's not going to give me gear. He just wants to select what gear I bring. I mean, feel free to give me advice, as always. Um, let's see here. Oh, um, so Coffee with Ace says, do we get any leaks on dev streams? Uh, if I'm doing my job right, I don't leak anything on this stream. Sometimes I give people, like, you know, I'll, I can give you, like, insight into the, the decision-making process between, between, behind things that have already been announced. That sort of thing. I can give you, you know, like, extra behind-the-scenes stuff. But I'm never going to, like, 
leak stuff that I'm not supposed to be talking about. Like a huge part of my job uh, as sort of like one of the, you know, PR people basically at the company is the is like, I need to know what's appropriate to say and what's not appropriate to say. So no, you're not going to get any like inadvertent leaks from me. Or if you do, uh, it means that I've made a mistake and I'm going to be scrambling to prevent it from getting out. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, so we do have another a couple of interesting questions, but I'll probably answer those separately uh, from this video. So let's wrap this video up. So um, that's a subscribe button, and whenever I do get around to trying to go after that plague heart again, that video is going to go there.